Hey everyone, it's Michelle in the Meadow. I hope you're having a fantastic day. When I made my follow-up video on the Birdies and Vigo garden beds, I did not expect so many questions about the hoops and nets that I have over them. Well, today I need to raise the roof on them and thought I would show you how I'm changing the setup. And if you're interested, I'll share the links to the products in the description of the video. These nets and hoops I bought separately, but they work really great because they are adjustable. So they're just about 12 inch sections or 18 inch sections. And you have little, little connectors that you put together and it simply bends over. And I don't have anything fancy set on here. What I hope to do today is use some of the hoops I had on a different bed. And then I am going to take a straight piece of this same tubing and make it in the edge and roll it up in the edge of the netting so it'll be easier for me to lift and lower the net when I need to reach in and harvest food or take care of the plants. I think that the Thai eggplant is gonna be really happy as will some of these peppers over here because they are raising the roof on their own and they would like to have a little bit more room for sure. These come in simple sections and between each section is a connector and if I want to extend it I can either take the cap out here and add another connector and another pipe or somewhere in the middle. In this case this is the length that I want so I'm going to use this to wrap the edge of the netting in. I am also going to try out these clips to see if they hold a little better. They don't have any metal to break off. I'm finding that some of the other cheap clips that I got are breaking in half every time I try to open and close them. So we'll see how these hold on. On this side I'm going to stretch the net out and I think I'm going to try to use the clips and just directly clip the net right to the bed. I want to see how they fit, they fit over the edging here on the garden bed. And for point of reference this is the Vigo garden bed but the thickness of the edging is about the same on the birdies. Hey, let's zoom in. That'll do it. That'll hold it for me. That'll be fantastic. Oh, 
Oh, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. All right. Now let's get these new hoops in there. Okay, I like this. Let's take a look around and see what I've done here. Along what I call the back side, I am using these green clips to attach right to the edge of the bed. I know that I can't have my tomatillos within the net, and so I've intentionally cut the net to where it comes just about to the edge of the bed. And here I am using some of those same hoop rods to weight down the end of the netting. I've got enough height that these guys can grow for a bit more. But with the width net that I have, this will be the, the most that I can raise this up and still have it netted. Let's go look at the other side. I've used those green clips to attach a couple of points to the bed, but on this side, I'm also using the green clips to attach to one length here that I've put together of the hoop rod just to give it some weight down. And I see where I have some gaps here and I'll come back and add some clips so that I don't have too many gaps. The pollinators can still get in here, but this will help keep out some of the moths that like to enjoy these types of delicious vegetables. It will keep the birds out and should help keep the squirrels and cats out as well. Hooray, that is done. I didn't get started as early as I want and it's getting warm out here, so it's time for me to get out of the sun. And remember my friends, if you like this content, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to know every time I produce a piece of new content, you can click that notification bell and find out. Until next time, please wear your sunscreen and have a fantastic day.